Hey everybody, I just wanted to talk to you for a little bit about Captain Frank Hamer of the Texas Rangers. Captain Frank Hamer was born Francis Augustus Hamer on March 17, 1884 in Wilson County, Texas. He began his law enforcement career in about 1905. He was working on the car ranch and ended up catching a horse thief. The sheriff of the area was so impressed he recommended that he join the Rangers. Frank was 21 years old when he joined the Rangers. Two of his favorite firearms were the Smith & Wesson 44 triple lock with a hand ejector first model, which was also considered by many, including Elmer Keith, who was a professional sharpshooter, and a really good book on him is Six Guns, considered the triple lock the finest made revolver ever. Now this one isn't exactly a 44. This one, this particular model is the 1905 Smith & Wesson M&P. So this is the first M&P ever made, and obviously it doesn't say that on the, on the firearm. This one's chambered in 38 Special, and it's a double action revolver. This particular specific pistol is made in 1906. And this pistol went on to four generations, and then eventually was the forerunner to the Victory pistol. There is originally 10,900 of the original 1905 model made, and then there was four generations after that. And a total of over 600,000 of these revolvers were made. Captain Frank Hamer's favorite rifle and the rifle that he used to dispatch both Bonnie and Clyde was the Remington Model 8. The Remington Model 8 that he chose for that particular job was chambered in 35 Remington. 35 Remington, this particular projectile is a 200 grain projectile going 2,225 feet per second. So here's the 38 Special, and here's the 35 Remington. The Remington Model 8 is a recoil operated rotating bolt designed by John Moses Browning. The design was sold to Remington in 1900. The first rifles were called the Remington Auto Loading Rifle from 1905 to 1911, and there was 26,000 of those made. From 1910 to 1929, they had the FN Model 1900, those were obviously sold in Europe. And in Europe, they didn't do as well as America because they only sold 4,913 of those. Now here's where we get into a little bit of, uh, of argument on how many were actually made. In 1911 to 1936, the Model 8, there was, if you look at Wikipedia, 80,600, or if you go with the, the Remington Society, 69,929, or as many as that number. There's also a Model 81 that's a little bit newer that was made from 1936 to 1950. This particular rifle, as long as the serial numbers are correct on the Remington Society's site, puts this rifle at 1908. So we've got a 1906 revolver and a 1908 auto-loading Remington Model 8 rifle. The rifle has a 22-inch barrel and is 8 pounds, so it's definitely not light, but it does shoulder extremely well. The total length is 41 inches. And another interesting thing about this rifle, it is a true takedown rifle. There's a screw in the center of the foregrip right there, and then the grip becomes the tool, and you take off the barrel, and it separates from the action right here. It does have a five round internal magazine and these rifles were chambered in 25 Remington, 30 Remington, 32 Remington, 35 Remington, like this one, and 300 Savage. In 1922, Remington started the date code system where if you look on the left side of the barrel right here, there is a letter followed by two numbers and you'll have the date and the year. These are a really interesting interesting rifle. If you've shot a Browning A5 shotgun, this is made a lot, pretty much the same. The barrel has an outer shroud and a spring all the way in it. Here's the actual rifle part of the barrel. And when you shoot this firearm, this barrel recoils into the sleeve and runs the action. A very interesting note, the safety. 
The more astute of our gun enthusiasts watching this would note that this looks a lot like the AK-47 design and beckons to wonder if Kalashnikov himself had seen this. Anyhow, thought-provoking at least. The interesting thing about the Bonnie and Clyde story is that this was during the Depression, and those two criminal POSs were revered as heroes during their tirade against citizen and police alike. They murdered an awful lot of people at very close ranges. And the ironic part about the time was is that people actually liked them. They likened them to Robin Hood, a modern day Robin Hood, except for they didn't give to the poor. And in many times, if you were a clerk running a store that got robbed by them, generally speaking, you were shot at point blank range in the face. Not many people know the name Frank Hamer, but a lot of people know the name Bonnie and Clyde. And I kind of think that that's an issue with media even back then. And now looking a hundred years forward, we see the same issues. Anyhow, I hope you guys found this video interesting. And if you got any questions, let me know down in the comments. Like it if you like it. Don't like it if you don't like it. Ask me a question if you got one. I hope all you guys are having fun. And remember, loose is fast. Brakes only slow you down. And shotguns have a wider spread. Be safe and have fun on the range. We'll see you next time.